Hi, this is Sunil Manji, Senior Principal Solution Architect. Today I'll be doing a quick demonstration on how to instrument Elasticsearch RUM agent with OpenTelemetry demo. For those of you that don't have a background in APM, uh, RUM agent is basically real-time user monitoring and the ability to monitor, observe, alert uh, your interactions with your website. Right? And you want to detect if things are going wrong, and where to go and, and start to focus your your time. So here I use OpenTelemetry demo. I have it already launched. So let's let's go to the actual demo documentation. So OpenTelemetry does a great job of documenting um, how to run the demo. There's two ways of uh, launching the demo. One is on Docker Compose, and the other one is Kubernetes. I generally always use Kubernetes, but for this demonstration, I'll be using Docker Compose because I have to. Uh, change the Docker file it just makes it a little bit easier. And if you go over to the architecture, scroll down here, you'll see here that uh, the Open Telemetry demo has many microservices, and it does use a proxy. And eventually, you do hit the front end uh, service, and that is where we want to instrument the RUM agent. So that's the architecture. Let's over, head over to the demo and just take a look at what the website looks like. So once you've launched it, I've done Docker Compose. You can go go shopping. You can click on anything you like, add to cart, uh, and uh, you know, and something else or a cart, no big deal. And we're gonna go to place order, continue shopping, and we'll actually, uh, well, I checked out. So anyways, I want to monitor the, the performance, uh, the user interactions with my website. So in order to instrument this, the first thing you need to do is grab your APM server URL. And there's many ways to do this. So the way I do it uh, is I go to add integrations. This is in Kibana, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that in, in APM. And you click on RUM here, and it tells you the, ser uh, the APM server URL. I'm not, I'm not worried about sharing this publicly. I'm going to be destroying this environment moments after I'm finished with this demo. That you need to keep handy because you'll be going inside the Docker container, or the, I'm sorry, the code, and you'll need that endpoint. So here's my IDE. I use VS Code almost for everything. And first thing you need to do is you need to clone the repo. So you get to git clone and clone the OpenTelemetry demo repo. This is well documented on, on the OpenTelemetry site. I'm not going to do it since I've already cloned it. Next thing is once you've cloned it, you, you go head over to the folder structure, open telemetry demo, the source, and you notice all the microservices that are deployed with open telemetry demo. Uh, we mentioned that it, everything goes through a proxy, but where we want to instrument the ROM agent is on the front end service. So first thing I do is every service is containerized and you don't have to open the Docker file for front end service. And here you're simply going to add uh, run npm install and the elastic npm agent this is documented um, on the elastic site uh, so don't need to memorize it but this is where you add it in the docker file so that's one step second thing you do is you head over to the main page uh, generally it's uh, underscore app.tsx that's for the front end site and here you add um, and again this is available to you not only in kibana tells you the code that you need to add but also um, on the Elastic site uh, documentation. So here I just added a little bit of information, which is um, uh, I'm, I'm going to initialize the APM. I'm gonna call the service hotel front end. This is the server URL is basically what we went a few steps earlier where we fetched the a, um, Elastic APM server URL. Uh, you can put in whatever you want for service version. I have it null for a moment. Log level, you don't need to add this line. You can, in fact, remove it. I do it just while I'm testing. I just want to see if anything has, has gone sideways. And the environment here, this is demo. You can call it sandbox, production, whatever you like. So now that we made the code changes, now we need to rebuild the actual container image. Now, you can go ahead and deploy the open telemetry demo. Uh, and, and have it up and running. And this could be done um, after, or you can do it before. It doesn't really matter, but I generally, the process I use, I deploy the demo and all the services are up and running. In fact, the, the UI is up and running. And then I run this process. So I rebuild the, the Docker image. You use Docker Compose build, no cache, and I'm only building the front end service. 
This may take a few minutes, right? Depending on how much CPU as of CPUs you have available to you. And then once that uh, the, the Docker image is finished building, the next thing I want to do is I just want to redeploy the front end service. So I basically say Docker compose up, force recreate, no dependencies in the front end. That's it. That's all it requires. The demo's up and running. It will just redeploy the front end service. And just for good measure, I verify the log. So I go Docker compose logs front end just to make sure that everything is deployed. And it looks like it is listing on port 8080. So it looks like the deployment was successful. So now we'll head over to Kibana to determine what, to see what this looks like. So now we're in Kibana. Let's have it, oh, head over to observability and go to user experience, which is the RUM dashboard. As you can see here that it, it's, in, it's in the dashboards are lit, it tells you a lot of information. We're not gonna really review this on, on this video demonstration. It was mostly about instrumenting it. And in fact, you can take a look at the top pages. You can see here that the card, the products that were clicked on, and, and uh, you know the front, the front page, which is the main landing page. So what did we do here? Quick summary. Uh, we were able to take the open telemetry demo, which is highly popular in Elasticsearch has done heavy investments into open telemetry. We've essentially taken uh, the RUM agent and instrumented with open telemetry demo in the, uh, with the front end service, um, manipulated the Docker file, rebuilt it, and then um, deployed. And we see here that we in fact are receiving the metrics uh, required. And you can see here that um, uh, last thing to touch upon is I am using a Chrome browser. You can see that there's a headless Chrome. That's because uh, OpenTelemetry demo has a load gen service, which uh, mimics a user interactions. Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful.